Hotel, my brothers and sisters. This is Prince Khalifa. I give honor to my Creator and to my ancestors by virtue of this message. Guide and direct my voice so that those who hear will listen. We are changed psychologically and economically. Bounded by shame and guilt, we have fed all others on the breast of our mother's milk. While ours have grown up malnutrition and loss. We must eat our culture, our history, and our traditions. For they lead us, guide us, and bind us to freedom. Africans, mighty ones, we were created by God to be supermen and women. We were made into mortals by our captors. We are becoming again what God intended us to be. Africans, geniuses, gods of the earth in sync with the universe. beginning of time, Africans have been doing the impossible, using mind over matter, and spirit over mind, tapping into the divine, so that now is the time of this day in mind, to discuss our rise, which will free all African minds, allowing the divine to shine, the divine to shine, the divine to shine. Study my culture, my history, and my land. Because I know that in order to overcome my enemies outside, I must overcome the one that resides on the inside. For how can I see to help my sisters and brothers be free? I can't see for my own inner enemy. Physician, heal thyself. Heal thyself. Heal thyself.
who I am. And I know who you are. I am not alarmed when I see my brothers and sisters willing, stealing, dealing, killing and killing people looking just like them. Because I know the niggas were made and Africans were created. Africans were created. Africans were created. Niggas were made to meet the needs for slaves. It's an economic thing, you must understand. But now that the job is done, it's up to us to stop what the slave master has begun. For bondage is in our minds and controls how we see with our own eyes. So blame not your sister and brothers. Instead, love unconditionally one another. For this is the medicine that will heal and bind us together because it is up to us and we're going to get any better. Africans are created in the image of the Creator, arriving here whole and complete in sync with the universe and one with the natural forces of the earth. Truth, justice, righteousness, balance and order are always in effect. And when you know who you are, you will regurgitate the rest. We can never be separated from the Creator. That's a lie at best. So hear the truth. Let go the rest. Africans were created and niggas were made. Africans were created and niggas were made. Psalms 82 verse 5 and 6. They know not, neither do they understand. They walk about in darkness. All the foundations of the earth are out of course. I have said you are gods, and all of you are the children of the Most High, God, Hotep. Tells me to kill him dead up in this piece. Angry frustrations I shall release. Cause I'm about to let loose the beast. Ha! Ha! Hear ye, hear ye, all you asshole MCs. It's time to throw a party for it's the doomsday. If you need a captain, ass crack. If you want protection, play the rear. No man in this world I fear. My sound beats down for your protection. I advise you wear headgear. I spill the beans on Bruce Wayne, known as Batman. Take no crusader, just your average white man. Who me? I'm black man. No superhero than letter man. I come up with like these to be the shit removing the S to the back and somehow I still make hits don't you hook around I need you stinking like the space between an asshole and clitoris on a 50 homeless woman I ain't that some shit you fight too many styles that's not hard to believe your captain's Alibaba and you one of the 40 thieves prior mocking train to reach my levels like peas when storm creates obese mods just mechanisms like this I've been around and seen a lot of MCs get wrecked from a lack of respect because there is no competition I've been around and seen a lot of from a lack of respect because there is no competition I've been around and seen a lot of MCs get back from a Oh, it's time to Grab drink. the glass, his family is time for us to get started I'm so excited Sitting up here, Kid Magic Kid Magic Rock mm. Shots out Here we go Drink your water Come on, come on, drink your water, but first, take your breath and drink some water. Take your breath. Take your breath and drink some water. Take your breath. Take, it. take, take your it. breath and drink some water. Take your breath. Drink, 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 drink. Or should I say, breathe, breathe, then drink. Take a breath, take a breath. Now, grab your glass.
glass for some water. Grab your glass. Lift your picture of that water. Or bottle. Get that picture of that water. Uh huh. Simply pour, pour some, some water. water. Drink, 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 drink. Drink your water. Or should water. I say, lift, pour, then drink. Now move your body and drink some water. Move your body. Move your body and drink some water. Move your body. Move your body and drink some water. Bam. Just move your body. Drink, 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 drink. Drink your water. Or should I say, move, move, then drink. Move your body. Now raise your glass and toast your ancestors. Toast. Raise your glass and toast your ancestors. Raise your glass and toast your ancestors, fam. Just raise your glass. Drink, 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 drink. Drink your water. Or should I say, raise, toast, then drink. Take your breath and drink some water. Take your breath. Lift and pour yourself some water. Pour. Move your body, drink some water. Move it. Raise your glass and toast your ancestors. Breathe, lift, move, toast. But remember to stay healthy. Remember the four pillars. Breathe, drink, eat, move. Drink half your weight in ounces. Eat a culturally appropriate diet. Behave. Take your breath. Come on. Lift and pour. You can do it. Move your body. Come on, come on. Toast your ancestors. Drink up. Come on, drink it, drink it, drink it. Come on, you can do it. Come on, drink it. Lift and drink it. Come on, drink that health in. Drink, 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 drink. Drink Drink your water. Take Take your breath. Lift and pour. Lift it. Move your body. Come on, come on. Toast your ancestors. Drink, 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 drink. Drink your water. Drink, 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 drink. Come on, come on. Drink your water. Take your breath. Lift it, pour. Come on, pour it. Lift it. Move your body. Come on, move. Toast your ancestors. Drink, 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 drink. What? Drink your water. Drink, 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 drink. Drink your water. Family, family, family. I want to be the first to welcome you to the congregation of the mighty. The home of the stubborn minority, the place where you hustle, builds muscle. This is Giami Journey Media. I am your host, Brother High Tim. And of course, you know that this is a Heart of December production all day, air day. I'm gonna give all the people check in here for a round of applause. Come on now, give it up for all. Oh, beautiful people check in here, baby. We wanna go on up and up this and it is you. Yes, we do. Hey, and, and last but not least, you always know we strive, strive, strive to blow up your old paradigm. And we will be blowing up some paradigms today because the rant of the day, the rant of the day is false treasures are holding you back. Your false treasures are holding you back. And we're going to have that discussion today. Yes, yes, y'all. It took me a little bit longer. I don't know what was going on with the images and stuff like that. And also I have to make the announcement, family, we will not be streaming on all of the platforms at the same time like we used to. We had to cut back. So we are going to be majorly focusing on the podcast aspect of what we do. When we do go live, we will be able to do possibly, of course, gnj.media. We're going to continue streaming on gnj.media. But... Um, we're going to stream in a private group and then we may 
post up on a YouTube channel or something like that. I'm still working, working it out, you know what I'm saying, because we could still do the uploads because it's nothing to um, download it and then re-upload it to uh, Spreaker, or no, to uh, YouTube, and it'll probably be the Giami Journey channel. Let's continue building that because that is the biggest one we got so far. But anyway, you know, um, it has, I, 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 I love the family that's on uh, uh, the Facebook page uh, and, 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 and all that, but we have to kind of focus where we're going. And the one that has been most productive for us has actually been the Spreaker page, the the podcast. And speaking of podcasts, you can listen to us on any place you get your podcast. Damn near, I ain't gonna say on anywhere. Let me take that back. Almost anywhere you can go and post your podcast. All right, you know what I'm saying? So, what's going on? So now, let's go on and let's have this conversation. But before we get into the conversation, y'all already know I ain't looking no news. I'm, I, I, you know, what I'm saying. So you know, I go through my phases where I got the news and boom, boom, boom. So let's get, let's get straight, straight to the heart of the matter. Anime, can we get to the heart of the matter? First off, I forgot to tell y'all after a while. Bow, there you go. We got that Bay New Health Sea Moss. That Bay New Health Sea Moss. You want to get yours and you want to support Giami Journey. Because remember, everything that you get from us supports Giami Journey. You go to cmos.gnj.media, get your CMOS. Also, family, you go and support us by getting your merch. As you see, I'm Kooji Chagalia Born. I'm proudly wearing the Kooji, Kooji Chagalia Born shirt, right? You go and get your shirts. You go to Dayborn. You go to uh, Daily Toaster. Or you go to Too Black, Too Strong. All these are lines that we have. The last one is Kwanzaa 365. You go to merch.gnj.media. Now, so before we get into the uh, the theme for the day, your false treasures. What is it? What is it called? I can't remember. What is it called? False treasures are holding you back. <laughs> I like that title. False treasures are holding. When I seen it, this one I said, oh. Ho, ho, ho. False treasures holding you back. Cause it's a it's a little short story that go along with it. But let's get it. Are you ready? It's the proverb. 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 That's six. Now, I want y'all to understand tomorrow's going to be a crazy day because it got a lot of twos. It's going to be two, 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 that's six. <laughs> that's a lot of twos. But anyway, we're going to have that. Wait till we get to two, 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 that's six. Wow. That's coming up too. But anyway, family. So. Uh, proverb of the day. I'm gonna start over because Cleve is gonna be cutting these for me, and it can't and it, it can only be a minute. So I'm gonna start over. If y'all don't mind, can we start over? Let's start it over, right there. It's the proverb. Uh, proverb. The 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 proverb. Of the day. Proverb of the day. Oh God. There it go. You ready? Now, in Giami, y'all know we got a saying. If it come fast, it don't last. If it comes slow, it's good to go. But this is an actual African proverb, and it says, what grows quickly dies quickly. Once again, what grows quickly dies quickly. Now, family, I gave that to you for a reason. Go and write it down in your journal. I want you to ponder upon that one just a little bit. All right? So here we go. We out of here. Come on now, get it. Thank you, anime. It's the proverb, 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 the 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 proverb. Now, those that didn't get that proverb, once again, here it goes. What grows quickly dies quickly. Go on here, put it up into your journal, and I want you to go and write a little bit. Because, you know, like I said, we we set up the show so that we can have writing prompts for you. Now, also, let's move real quickly. We're going to move to the folk teller today, right? 
Because like I said, the key piece of Jeremy's journey is getting you to become symbol literate. I need you to be able to look at the symbols and be able to read them. So we, we use the tools that our ancestors left us. They left us proverbs. They left us folk tales. They left us myths. They left us legends. And we use them. But I don't want you to just confine your ability to read symbols to proverbs, quotes, um, um, folk tales, myths, and legends. I want you to be able to use it in real life. Because our ancestors communicate with us in real life. So you need to be able to read the symbols that they send into you. You need to be able to read the symbols of what's going on around you. You need to be reading the people around you, right? And it'll help you get rid of some of these false treasures that's holding you back. But let's keep it moving. All right, here we go. If you could, anime, could you could you please, baby, is you get you, you, you queuing me up, get it. Folk tale time, folk tale time, folk tale of the day, folk tale of the day. We had the two frogs, the two frogs, two frogs were neighbors. One inhabited a deep pond far removed from public view. The other lived in a gully containing little water and traversed by country road. The frog that lived in the pond warned his friend to change his residence and entreated him to come live with him saying that he would enjoy greater safety from danger and more abundant food. The other refused, saying that he felt so very hard to leave a place to which he had become accustomed. A few days later, or a few days afterwards, a heavy wagon passed through the gully and crushed him to death under its wheel. Now, the uh, moral of the story is a willful man will have his way to his own hurt. A willful man will have his way to his own hurt. The folk tale, so that you can look it up for yourself, is called The Two Frogs. And this is a nice story. I hope you I, I hope you get the message. Get the me message. I hope you got it. There we go. Folk tale. Time folk 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 we did it. All right. Without any further ado. Without any further ado, we're going to get into this rant. Anime, baby, if you could. If you could, oh, b before we get into rant, I just want to make sure, family, I just want to make sure, those of you that's listening, you are going to really, to really catch us live, you are going to have to go to our Spreaker station or wherever you get your podcast to look up Giami Journey, right? There, you will be able to tune into us live, but, no, you'll be able to tune into us, but to get us live, you're going to have to go to our Spreaker station or sign up for our email list. I post, up, I post it up all the time. If you go to our blog, you know what I'm saying, giamijourney.com, and if you click the, the show for the day, you know what I'm saying, you can go there, you can sign up for our email list immediately, and I will plug you in, and you'll get a daily inspirational email, you know what I'm saying, with, with of course, some writing prompts for you so that you can go and do your journal so that you can start moving through your self-mastery course. All right, but anyway, also, you can go on and join us by going to um, freegnjecourse.com, and you get on our e-course, and we can build. But here we go. Here we go, anime. Can you get them ready for me, please? Come on now. Come on now. I need your help, anime. What's going on? What's going on? Can I have that war horn, please? Warhorn. I want my theme music. I'm thinking all the time. I'm thinking all the time. All right, here we go. Here we go, family. So today, today, of course, you know, title, false treasures are holding you back. And how did I come to that? So I woke up this morning and I was empty. Because usually, I mean, because like I, a lot of times I could sit up on the side of the bed, I could jump in the tub, I could soak for a long time, I got up a half an hour early, my alarm goes off at 3, I get to lay in to 3.30, I get up, I start getting stuff ready, I'm, you see how late I still am. So I laid in the tub, started listening to my book, and I was like, damn, I don't know what I'm going to write about. So I get to my writing desk, I get to the Black Cave, and I say, well, let me go to the player's handbook. No, my fault. The player's pyramid, right? You know, my first book. And I go and I look up Coogee Chagalia. And when I look up Coogee Chagalia, 
what pops up, of course, is at the beginning of the chapter, I got Proverbs. And Kuzhaglia is an easy one to find Proverbs for. But the proverb that stuck out for me that this time was, what does not strengthen should be released, for it is a false treasure. What does not strengthen should be released, for it is a false treasure. I said, okay, cool. Got my subject. So start plugging it in. Start start playing with my words. Start moving it around. Start looking for title. False treasures are holding you back came up. And I said, wow. You know what I'm saying? That does not, that does not strengthen you should be released. And we're talking about thoughts. We're talking about, let's put it this way. We're talking about the nouns in your life, family. I'm talking about the nouns in your life. Those nouns that do not strengthen you should be released. Why? Because they are false treasures. What is a noun? A person, place, or thing that includes thoughts, emotions, people. If it is not moving you forward, if it's not strengthening you, it is a false treasure. Now, oftentimes people think that only the positive things strengthen us. <laughs> I, got, I got news for you. I got news for you. Sometimes, some people could be over positive. I remember one time I was I was having a discussion with some of my elders, and I never got a clear answer on this because at the time, my yacht was a, I ain't going to say, it was, you know, in our community, my yacht was coming out, and it became a major idea along with the spirituality. And one of the things I have always sought, even before my yacht, is a sense of balance because I understood that I couldn't totally be a thug and, and somebody that just liked to fight. You know what I'm saying? I always wanted to be a diplomat. I always wanted to be in priest, peace. But if I had to bring it, I could bring it. You know what I'm saying? I could bring it how you wanted it. You want peace? Let's talk peace. You want, you, you want, you want these hands? Let's do it. You know what I'm saying? And, and I always wanted to, I always felt that the best way to do things was in balance. So one day, I was talking to some of my elders, or maybe one of my elders, and I asked a question. I said, if my eye, because everybody ran around screaming, I said, if my eye is about balance, is it possible that you could have, because you could, if, if, according to the, the mythology, if your heart weighs, is heavier than the feather of my eye, you are, in a sense, ate up by a beast and basically shit out, and you, I guess you got to live life again. I don't know. You know what I'm saying? I, you know. The piece is, if your heart was heavier than a feather, you could not, in a sense, get into heaven. So whatever happened to you after the weather's hell, whatever, what you know what I'm saying? You couldn't move to the next level if your heart was heavier. So I said, what happens if your heart is too light? <laughs> One of those high Tim questions. Like, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, yo, because I have run into people who are so good that they ain't no damn good. You can't do, you you ain't, you can't do, you ain't no good. You could be too bad that you ain't good, for no good. You could be too good and not be good. I done ran into those. I'm like, oh, you know, all, all of us, we, all of us know we got some, some candle burning, incense, incense smelling, heavy oil wearing, super spiritual people that are good for absolutely nothing. You know what I'm saying? Other than looking cultural, I mean, all groups got them. You know what I'm saying? Other than just looking cultural, they serve no other purpose. Like, oh, that's you. You have no earthly good, my friend. Yeah, you, uh, you know, uh, may may heaven may heaven shine upon you, my friend. But anyway, but we had these false treasures. We had these false ideas. We had these false mind states. We had these false uh, physical things in our life. We had these false friends. We have we have these. We have these false treasures. All these things are treasures in our life that we value. See, because a treasure don't have to be something shiny. It's just something that you value. And in us valuing these things and in them not strengthening us, they are holding us back. They're holding us back. There has to be a certain amount of tension in order for you to grow. There has to be a certain amount of friction in order for you to grow. So whether it's too bad or too good, you need you need that thing in there that's going to cause you to strengthen. 
right? You need you need that resistance that's going to cause you to strengthen. So we need a, 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 a sort of balance. Now, let me go on through this, and um, I ain't even start my clock. Where am I at? I'm at six minutes and 20 seconds. Good God Almighty. There I go, running my mouth. All right, so let's say, so what is a false treasure? It's any idea or concept in our minds that keep us from reaching our full potential. And there's also some of those things, too. It's some of those physical things, too, as well. It's an idea that keeps you thinking small. Your mind is your greatest power. The words you speak create your world, but mindful, be mindful of your words, of what you allow yourself to even think about. Now, remember, we always, because like I said, I always try to make this so that it connects all of what we're talking about. You know, control of thought, control of action, devotion of purpose, right? Those are Those should sound familiar to those of you that's on this path. Control your thoughts. You know what I'm saying? Because these limited thoughts are, 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 are false treasures. Right? And let me give you some examples of some of these thoughts. It's not possible. I mean, I mean, of course, there's some shit that's just not possible. I, I done heard some people say something. You know, I had a young dude in my, sitting in my room one time. And, you know, we was having a course. I was doing a course with some of the brothers as they was um, coming into Giamme. It was years ago. Brother said, I'm going to be the first trillionaire. I said, uh, what you going to do? I'm going to do business. I said, now, you know, you, you grown now. You got kids, right? You know, while you you ain't the cute young, cute young baby that, you know, we used to allow to just, you know, dream. You know what I'm saying? You have other lives now, you know, what business? Still thinking about it, but I'm going to be a trillionaire. You, you, you ain't, you, okay, you about to meet the Phoenix. That's what you, those that in Giamma, y'all know what I mean with that. That I worked the shit out of him. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm sitting up here like, you on some, you, 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 so spiritually gone, it's just ridiculous. Let me bring you, let me, let me introduce you to pain so that I could bring you back in tune with one of the five parts of your being that are very necessary. There is some shit that is impossible, but a lot of stuff that we see that is not possible is because of some self-imposed limitation or limitations that have been placed upon you by other people. So, false treasure thought, right? It's not possible. You need to evaluate whether that's a, a self-imposed limitation or if this is an actual physical, uh, physics type limitation. You know what I'm saying? I ain't talking about flying. See, because some of y'all, I mean, you know, levitation. Like, you know, some of you, you because we got some of those Negroes out there that's talking about, we built the pyramids from the top down. Yeah, we built the pyramids from the top down. But it, you don't get your, oh, my God. Oh, my God. I'm not good enough. That's another one of those thoughts. And, and I want you to understand these thoughts don't come directly at you like this, right? They come at you disguised. They come at you uh, disguised as your friends. Something that's trying to keep you. You're not good enough. I'm not good enough. This is one of those thoughts that is one of those false treasures that is there saying that it's trying to keep you. You're not good enough. Come on, fam. Come on, learn to recognize them. They're disguising themselves. Learn to see through it. It's a false treasure. I don't have time. Hmm. You don't have time. Hmm. Okay. One of those false treasures. Right? You know what I'm saying? I ain't because I listen, I'm I'm not one of those, I'm not one of those hustle, one of those, I don't do hustle porn. You know, you sleep less. No, I get all the sleep I can get. You know what I'm saying? Work. Yeah, I believe in working hard, but I believe in working smart. One of my elders told me years ago, he said, Brother Hatim, you work too goddamn hard. You need to learn how to work smart. And you know what I've been doing? Over the years, I've been honing my skills to learn to work as smart as I can. Right? It saves you a lot of time, and you don't have to miss no sleep. But when I'm working, I'm working. You understand what I'm saying? So now, I don't have time. One of those false treasures. 
And here we go. I don't deserve it. Come on now. You don't deserve. Who told you this? Are these your thoughts? Or are these, you know, other people? And other people will bring these thoughts to you. In, in, in the vein that they're trying to protect you, they're trying to keep you. But what they're doing is singeing your, your spiritual wings so that you can't fly. They're singeing your, your, your emotional wings. They're burning down your emotional fortress. They're, 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 they're destroying your physical capabilities. They're messing with your mind, corrupting your intuition. Come on, family. You got false treasures laying all around you. And you sitting out here languishing with them, not realizing that they hold you down because they're disguised as friends. They're, 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 they're shiny. They're beautiful. And they can only be for your good. And, they, and, and intent wise, these people that are bringing these and even these thoughts intent wise, their intents may be good. But if it does not strengthen it must be released. Why? Because it's a false treasure. Now, let's keep it moving. Unfortunately, we keep most of our false treasures in our mind. We hold on to them, right? They make us feel comfortable. In order for us to be strengthened, we got to push ourselves beyond our limitations. We got to push. We got to push ourselves to the edge. That's the only way you get strong. You don't go to the gym and just watch other people work out and expect to get strong. So I don't know how you look at life and see other people living and think that you're going to be able to grow. I don't see how you could look at life and think just by picking up a book and just reading is going to be enough. I don't see how you think in life that praying is just going to be enough. I don't see how you think in life that meditating is just going to be enough. It is done by getting it done, it's done by getting involved. Now you use all those other things as tools and as guides and as maps to get you through, but you don't get stuck in that shit. Unfortunately, we keep most of our false treasures in our minds and we need to take time to do the mental, to do a mental cleanse. Now, I would not only say a mental cleanse, but sometimes, I ain't even gonna say sometimes. When we are doing our mental cleanse we need to cleanse all five parts of our being what's that brother hi tim cleanse our intuition our mental our mind our emotions our spirit and our body when we fast we need to we need to fast and clean it all out every now and then we got to reset it you know what i'm saying this is why we i you know i do the i started 21 and goose Sabbath challenge now for me i fast but I'm giving other people the opportunity with the 21-day and Goose Sabbath Challenge to cleanse other parts of themselves. Then Goose Sabbath Challenge, period. I'm trying to get you to start cleansing some of the thoughts and start looking so that you can go back through your notes and you can see where growth is happening and where growth is not. And then start asking yourself the key questions. All right, so now. And we need to take time to do a mental cleanse or release the toxic thoughts that are holding us back and the toxic people and the toxic emotional states. Here are some questions to wrestle with. Now, get your books. Here are the questions. Those of you that's not on, on that email list because these are written down, all you got to do is go through and you could go and extend the um, email and, and, and just write in them. You know what I'm saying? I wish I... I wish I could master the skill of creating writable PDFs, but they hard. I ain't gonna say they hard. I'm 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 gonna work on it. Here you go. What false treasures do you want to release? Have you identified any? Which ones do you want to release? What false treasures or ideas are are you holding on to? What could be the consequences of continue to hold on to these ideas? I want you to ponder on that one. What are the consequences of you holding on to some of these false ideas that you have, to, to you know, these fake, false concepts, these false philosophies that you are holding, these false treasures? What are the consequences of you holding on to them? What are some of the false treasures in your life, and how can you replace them with real treasures, with real things that strengthen you, Right? You don't have to start and, and move fast. Take your time. Build up. Right? Now, Jami Tribe, we attempt to help our tribe members recognize 
the false treasure so they can move past them. Here are three steps to recognize and releasing false treasures. Get ready. Get your pen. Get your pen. Is it based in fear? Damn, I'm at 16 minutes. I'm, I'm hot now. Is it based in fear? You can root it out. Look at look at look at that fear. Cause remember the unbalanced seven. See, y'all got to y'all got to get y'all have to take the 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 the, the free e course, and you have to go on and catch up so that you understand the lingo. We have to speak a different language if we're going to be able to create a different mind state. If you're using the same language that's getting you into the mind state, if you are not adding concepts and ideas to you so that you could use them within your vocabulary, if you're not adding different simple symbols to your life then what you're doing is you're allowing yourself to get caught in a loop that was designed to keep you caught and keep you stuck where you are. And don't ask me to say that again. Rewind it. So, the unbalanced seven. Remember, the mother of the unbalanced seven is fear. Fear. Remember in the movie, uh, what is it? Doom. Fear is the mind killer. I must not fear. Fear is the mind killer. Crazy, but true. You know what I'm saying? You can't think when you're in fear. This is why your oppressor strives to keep you with fearful thoughts. And remember, a lot of these thoughts come as if they're helping you. Don't reach too high. Oh, you know, it'd be so good to have that. But you know, they're never going to give it to you. You know what I'm saying? Why expose yourself to the pain? Just, just stay here. safe with me. Be a failure. Just, you know what I'm saying? And I hear people, and this blows my mind, even people that have been in Giamme, who, who, who no longer are Giamme now, using fear language to justify being broke. And when I say broke, I don't just mean not having money. I mean, they justify their brokenness. They say God allowed them to be broke so that he could humble them so that they, I mean, think about this shit. I'm broke because God broke me. And because God loved me, he broke me. I'm broke. I can't, can't pay for my kids. I can't, I'm broke. The hell is you? I'm going to stop. I, I promise. I promise. One, releasing false treasure. One, is it based in fear? Fear isn't logical. Fear is the mind killer. Fear is the mother of all the unbalanced seven. You know what I'm saying? Fear. All of them. All of the unbalanced seven is some form of fear. Even when we talk about our emotions, right, is some type of fear. Like, for example, we ask um, um, Elder, um, oh, man, I can't remember his name, on uh, Matamiso, uh, Matamiso. Uh, I can't remember his last name. Forgive me, Elder. But he teaches uh, uh, the, the th uh, three questions when we're dealing with our emotions. What are you feeling? Mad, sad, or scared? Just just that simple. Mad, sad, or scared? If you're mad, what's the violation? The fear. You've been violated. If you're scared, what's the danger? Right? Mad, sad, or scared? If you're scared, what's the danger? Sad, what's the loss? Just simple questions that you can start going through and looking at and start building and start looking at the, the very thoughts that you have so that you can really weigh them and see if they are real treasures or if they are false treasures. Fear isn't logical. It keeps you from living fully. Any concept that keeps you from living your fullest life is a false treasure. Two, it's based on dependence. True power comes from within yourself, not from other places or things. It starts with you. Then it moves up. Just like our principles, the way we talk about the Nguza Saba, we talk about the Nguza Saba first within. 
I know some of y'all out there that's new, that's listening to us right now. Brother Hot Tim, I know that Nguza Saba, and how can an individual practice unity or or uh, Umoja or or I can see Kuji Chaglia, but how about Ujima and Ujima? How does an individual practice those? You got to go back and you got to listen. You got to learn the language. You got to learn how we communicate. I'm trying to tell you, we changing lives here at Giami Journey Media. We changing lives at Giami Tribe. This tribal life. I'm trying to tell you. Is the thought, is the person around you, are they trying to get you to be dependent on something else? Is it based on dependence? Even, look at your life. Is it based on dependence? And if it's based on dependence, is the dependence really a treasure or is it a false treasure that you're hanging on to because they are extracting more from you than you are actually getting from them? Y'all don't have a symbiotic relationship. Y'all have a viral relationship where that individual or that, that organization or that group of people is draining you and the little benefits that you are getting are not equal to what they're taking from you. Is it based on dependence? True power comes from within yourself, not from others, others, places, or things. Number three, last but not least, can you take action immediately? The thoughts that you have, you know, because I'm telling you a lot of times, a lot of times people, this is why we toast the moment every day. This is why this part of the toast is very important for those of you that are on the ritual piece because this completes the daily toast ritual the daily toast ritual is about us recognizing the past but this toast right here is about recognizing the present moment why is the present moment important right because if i keep you caught in past thought or future thought you never take action you never take action you action happens in the now so if I get your thoughts away from some type of immediate action. I help you maintain your status. I help you maintain where you are in neutral. So when you receive, you can recognize a true treasure because it requires immediate action from you. It don't have to be it don't have to be nothing drastic or stupid, but it requires you to do something in the moment that you are in. It ain't telling you to wait. Can you take immediate action? Any idea without action might be just a thought, but as an idea with action is your reality or it becomes your reality. So I want y'all to think about that. But family, family, anime, if you could, baby, please. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Can I have my theme music, please? Thinking of As we say in GMA, class is missed. Now get the hell up out of my classroom. Y'all take a couple second break. And, and I will be right back. There you go. I'm sorry. It took me a second there. Let's get it. Minute by minute. Minute by minute. Hour by hour. Hour by hour. You lose your history. You lose your history. You lose your power. You lose your power. Minute by minute. Minute by minute. Hour by hour. Hour by hour. You lose your faith. You lose your faith. You lose your power. You lose your power. If it is to be. If it is to be. It's up to me. It's up to me. 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 Up to me.
like to call on the ancestors and the creator to watch over us as we do this African pledge. I pledge allegiance to my people. I pledge allegiance to my people. The African race. The African race. The original man and woman of the planet Earth. The original man and woman of the planet Earth. And the founders of civilization. And the founders of civilization. I pledge to continue to struggle. I pledge to continue to struggle. Which will help to bring my beloved brothers and sisters. Which will help to bring my beloved brothers and sisters. To total freedom. To total freedom. I pledge to study and discipline myself. I pledge to study and discipline myself. Spiritually, mentally, and physically. Spiritually, mentally, and physically. So I may grow into a soldier for justice. So I may grow into a soldier for justice. Because my people need strong and intelligent warriors. Because my people need strong and Because my people need strong and intelligent warriors. I pledge to live my life standing tall. I pledge to live my life standing tall. For a person on his knees is not respected. For a person on his knees is not respected. If I am challenged, if I am challenged, I must say I will not surrender. I must say I will not surrender. My position or my dignity. My position or my dignity. But instead I will endure. But instead I will endure. Until the final victory. Perfect, I had the wrong screen. Feel stupid. Stupid. But it happens sometimes, fam. You see, you gotta watch your thoughts. You see, I'm just playing with myself. That ain't sound right either. But y'all know what I'm saying. Y'all know what I'm saying. I, well, hopefully. Hopefully, y'all know what I'm Y'all know what I'm saying? Hopefully. Anyway, I digress. But anyway, family, let's go on and let's toast up this moment, right? Because family, we need to go and get rid of these false treasures. Let's stop playing. You know what I'm saying? You got nouns around you that's stinking of falseness. You got fools go all around you. Some of them laying on your couch. Some of them riding you with you in your car right now. You understand what I'm some of them, Some of them living off of you, right? Right? I'm trying to tell you, this is why you need to try up because sometimes we can't recognize them and we need other people's eyes around us to be like, you know what I'm saying? To be like, yo, fam, you know, you know, I'm not trying to tell you how to live your life, but you know, it look like you might be kind of weighed down here. I mean, if you happy, I'm happy for you, but you know what I'm saying? I feel it's my responsibility as your tribe member, as your brother, as your sister to let you know that this thing right here, you guys are false treasure. And it might not even be a person. It might be a pill that you take. It might be some, it might be uh, the, the weed you smoke. It might be the alcohol that you are indulging in too much. You know what I'm saying? And, 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 and family, those of you that are able to see this and other folks, you know what I'm saying? You have to be kind in how you do it. You have to do it with a sense of love to help them, but also realize that in the same token, that you could give out the advice, you need to be able to accept it. And I mean, right here, I'm talking to me. You know what I'm saying? Hopefully, it, it's going to reach some of y'all. But a lot of times, we get so caught up on who we become, who we striving to be, and what we're try, striving to build, that we start feeling like, ah, I can't be correct and shit. You know what I'm saying? That's why I'm so I'm so thankful for my for, for my tribe because they be like, yo. You know what I'm saying? I mean, like, uh, you know, like, for example, Miss Tracy is, like, accountability boss. God damn. Like, shit. Well, you know, I tell you, you slipping. The fuck? You know what I'm saying? And then she read my books and be like, yeah, accountability. You know, these paragraphs ain't right. Don't, hey, yo, don't hurt my feelings. Shit. Told you how I wrote the books. You ain't got to be cutting me like that. You don't know me. Well, I mean, you do know me, but damn. All right, cool. I'm in my feelings right now. Forgive me. I'll come back and, you know what I'm saying, you know what I'm saying, well, I'm not doing stuff. I got, you, get, you got to have people around you that can see because sometimes you can't see the forest for the trees. Sometimes you can't tell that it's fool's go. You got to send it to the lab of your tribe, the lab of the people that love you so that they could distill it and tell you, oh, yeah, this fool go. This is fool's go, brother. You know what I'm saying? Same with our relationships. Same with some of the marriages. Same with, you know what I'm saying? Same with some of these jobs. 
Y'all mess with fool's go. Don't don't get caught up with fool's go. I'm raising my glass. We saluting the creator by whatever name we choose to call that creator. We lifted up our glass. We saluting that creator. And we say, I shame. Those of you that want to get your ancestors on the list because we toast the ancestors every morning at 5.45 a.m. You can catch it live on Giami Journey Media. Um, my fault. Actually, you're going to have to go to our Spreaker. And it, and once you get the Spreaker, it's GiamiJourney.com or it's GNJ.media. You should be able to find it. Or you can look up Brother Hot Tim. And every morning, it will be a lot. It will start at 5.45 a.m. with the day, blah, blah, blah. You know what I'm saying? We'll be able to chat. We'll be able to do all the same stuff. If 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 it stops over here, if it wants to stop streaming live on our video, I just want you to know because we're moving into a different time and we're moving into a different focus. I had I had some fool's gold in my life. You can even have some fool's gold. You know what I'm saying? Some false treasures in your apps. I got plenty of apps that are false treasure. I had to go and let them go. Anyway. Anyway, those that want to get your um, ancestors on the list, you go to gnj.media, um, and you get on our email list, or you go to giamijourney.com, get on our email list. You know what I'm saying? What out, right? Get on that email list, right? For those of you that can't find the G actually us on Spreaker, you could go to giamijourney.com, and if you look on the side of the screen, there will always be a player right there. Or I post every day in the blog with the player so that all you got to do is click and you will go straight there and you can put us on your RSS feed. You know what I'm saying? I guess that's like liking us and it automatically log you in and boom, you can get a ding when we go live, right? But anyway, you can add your access to the list by getting on our list, by getting on our um, email list. And once you accept allowing to receive emails, you receive an email from us on a daily basis and you can respond and we can have conversations. So you don't, it don't just have to be a one way email thing. It's a reciprocity thing. Like how Tim, I appreciate this proverb. How Tim, I didn't like this proverb. I didn't like this write up. You getting on my goddamn nerves and all these emails, but I love you. Thank you. And then I'll send you an email the next morning. You'll be like, thank you, how Tim, for the, I, I, I like that one. Thank you. But just still too many goddamn emails, Hot Tim. You're clogging up my emails, brother Hot Tim. I'm going to move you to the junk folder, Hot Tim, but I'm not going to cut you off. I'm going to come over there and check it every now and then, brother Hot Tim. Right? Anyway, you gone. We can have a two-way conversation and we can grow together. But you can add your ancestors to the list through that link. So we lifting up our glass and we saluting our personal ancestors as we do every day at 5.45 a.m. And we say, Ashe. <laughs> We do what we came here to do this morning. We are lifting up this day. We are lifting up the moment we are in. We are in my favorite day of the week. We are on Kuji Chaglia. I am a Kuji born and I am proud. And I want to go on and give all the Kuji borns a round of applause. <laughs> Shout out to the Kuji born, right? Kuji babies out there, right? So, family, now, if you don't know what I'm talking about, once again, you got to get in tune. Go to freegnjecourse.com. Go to freegnjecourse.com. Take the e-course. It'll, it'll get you up to speed to where you can at least understand what we're doing. Just a little bit, right? But anyway, we are in the moment of Kuchaglia. And as I ask every day, family, I ask you to... to to open yourself up, I ask you to share Kuji Chagalia. I ask you to talk about Kuji Chagalia. I ask you to open up your reticular formation and uh, and, and 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 allow your uh, your um, autopilot to be on lookout for it so that you can see it. Right. Um, for those that don't speak the language, Kuji Chagalia means, or the closest we come to describing it is self determination, but it's it's much deeper than just self determination, as you've seen today. Right. By practicing Kuji Chaglia self-determination and self-definition, it gives us the ability to start seeking out those false treasures. Because once we start defining ourselves for ourselves, then we're going to be able to start seeing the things that are in our lives that are actually false treasures. Because now we have changed what we value. And since we changed what we value, certain things will begin to look differently. Why? Because the, the, that shiny trinket will be, be exposed for exactly what it is, just a trinket. But anyway. Self-determination is the, the word right now. Justice is the myotic principle. 
Now, each day has a certain amount of principles. Indigo is a color, and you can support us by getting your Dayborn shirt or getting your Daily Toaster shirt or getting your Two Black shirt or getting your Kwanzaa 365 shirt, right? Just go to merch.gnj.media and go a long way. That's M-E-R-C-H dot G-N-J dot media. You know how to spell media, right? Okay, cool. All right. Um, correspondence is the hermetic principle. Male name for the day is Kwabana. Female name is Abina. Right? We lift up our glass. We salute this present moment, the power in this moment. We take responsibility in this moment so that we can move forward. We understand that any of those ideas that got us have to always wait for the future rather than being able to take immediate action are false treasures. And we release them. Why? Because they don't require us to do anything. They require us to stay comfortable. And in comfort, we lose. You become weak. You become soft. Remember the line from... Uh, uh, the Batman when he was fighting um, Bane. Bane said, oh, victory has defeated you. <laughs> that shit was cold. You, I just want y'all to think about that. For many of you, victory has defeated you. You have become soft. It had the audacity to think that you could hide in the black. I was born in the black, raised in it, reared in it. I was a man before I saw the white. And by then, it was blinding and evil. <laughs> oh, man, I love doing the toast with y'all. I'm lifting up my glass. And we toast this moment, and we say, I say. <laughs> oh, my God. Anyway, we lift up our glass. <laughs> we lift up our glass and we salute. <laughs> I'm sorry. And we lift up. We lift up our glass and we salute. Um, from there, we move to our future. We toast our children, our children's children onto affinity. We lift up our glass. We say, I shame. Man, family. We lift up all the that healing energy we sending that energy out right now that balanced healing energy you know what i'm saying so we want to send it out i want to lift up my glass for um brother quasi low i want to lift up my glass for elder tony i want to lift up my glass for sister debbie uh Bowie. now for those of you that want to add people to the list you take the same process that i taught that i talked with you earlier about as far as getting on the email list to go on and put people on that list as well. We check those emails on a daily basis. We lift up our glass. We say, Ashe. Now, we started with the creator. We end with the creator. We say, Ashe. 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 Family, wish you peace, power, joy, and 100 years. And I keep on looking at this egg wondering, man, come on, man. Are you going to hatch or what? All right. Mm, mm, mm. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Family, this is Brother Hot Tim. And y'all know what's up. All right, who on the wheels of steel? Who on the wheels of steel? Nobody? I got to do it this day? Okay, cool. We gonna, I feel like this right now. Oh, 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 smoke that ever lost seeds. Oh,